Hello, my lovelies. I am once again Zeomak, aka Visual Pony, and welcome back to Outer Worlds. So, as I stated last time, we need Vicar Max to continue. So, Ellie will stay here. And we take Vicar Max with us. Maybe we'll also find some new armor for him, because the one that he's wearing is a bit outdated. I kind of like that, even though I don't like Spacer's Choice, that the loading thingy is the Spacer's Choice mascot. Let's see... No, not Radio Free Monarch, but the Empty Man. Oh, in this direction? Okay. I don't rightly even know where I am right now. I think I'm in Fallbrook. Yeah, this should be Fallbrook. Yep, that even it's written down there. You'd think folks were pissing in the alleyway <laughs> Oh, they are. <laughs> oh wait, it's huh? Oh, it is in Fallbrook. I don't have to go to the door. Barely made it out. Marauders got Keely. And level nineteen. Location one hundred eighteen dot eight two. Eight one two five dash five three point seven four eight seven one one R four five two nine conditions fair. Report I can't believe I'm stuck in this law forsaken town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel on the river bank outside of town. Produced one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who'd pay something for the teeth. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. <laughs> I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Wait, is that the dude that... Yeah, Reginald Cheney. Oh god! That's the dude I just saw. So I have to move all the way back. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Oh, 
he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Oh, I can imagine. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. Diverting, he okay. It, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Yay! I still have this. Hmm. I'll just equip it. I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. You offered me a place on your crew, friendship. And I used you to get to Cheney. And even then, you saved me from myself. I don't know if I could live with myself had I gone through with it. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. So I could now throw him out? No, I'm not someone who's that easy, easy in forgiving when someone lies to me. I'm not going to kick him out, but I'm going to give him a second chance. Thank you. I promise I'll be nothing but truthful from this point forward. I'd hope so. Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed this stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny. The world will try to correct for it. So now we have to go to the door, don't we? What is this? It's 
Supplied Storage Keycard. You know what? Region, map. Is there anywhere where I can fast travel? Yeah. Then I don't have to walk all the freaking way. Also, I'm kind of itching. Your hats, children. This ride is about to get ugly. We gotta go exploring. I want to see some savages. Kind of want to try out some mind control, Ray. Okay. It definitely uses energy ammo. I wonder what secrets these ruins contain. Exploring some ruins, killing some monsters. All we're missing is theme music. Ah, this was the house. Ah, okay. Kind of already su suspected that it would be the house uh, that had a load in interior. Visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, come in! Come in! We're armed the teeth? What's he gonna do? Kill us with generosity? That's the spirit! Now come in! Make yourselves comfortable! I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? I don't think I will. I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. I think I just lost my appetite. Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Sorry, I'm not real good with, uh, names. It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. Other times, it's mm. like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? I have a feeling that he is Braxton and that our food would be drugged. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. They don't taste very good. But they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. That's too bad. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And yeah. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. He said they were making us sick. Mama and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. Perhaps we should skip dinner. My stomach has been a tad unsettled of late. 
I can tell you what happened. They killed him, and he is dinner. If this is anything like the Fallout games, then I bet he is dinner. Well... I'll be damned. I've seen the worst of humanity before. I am so glad I skipped lunch. If lost, please return to Ballard Velma or our current supervisor of MSI Fishery Operations in Stella Bay. Supper time. Effect bleed. As I said, he is dinner. You see there's a leg missing. Don't mind if I do. Sunrise. The sun crests the horizon is round, soft and warm. As a lump of a sister pig, the day is fresh and alive with possibility. Trees. Ever reds rise from the ground, glistening and triumphant in daylight. They remind me that life can grow even here amidst the dust. Okay, someone is a bad poet. <laughs> oh, I could just leave here. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear, you've been nosy, haven't you? <laughs> Of course not. What better end for the day than a meal around the family table? And what more noble purpose for you than to bring us together? Nonsense. What the Eternal provides, we shall gladly accept. And there you have it. Can't argue with that, can I? Got him, boss! Everyone all right? This weapon is crazy. Sorry, but this family had it coming. Seriously, I, I said he was dinner and I was right. Sure, I could have just left, but seriously, was I supposed to let them keep eating people? People are not dinner. At least I think so. Are these real ruins? Huh. It's just like in the series. I believe this place has seen better days. Why 
But yeah, the mind control ray is an interesting weapon, I must admit. Turning enemies into allies as long as you shoot them. wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights, the sounds, the... Wait, what's that smell? The trick is not to breathe through your nose. Very well said, Vicar. Very well said. Helps the chairman and Minister Clark defeat our foes. So that's the serious speak with Velma at the fishery. Okay. How does it feel? How does what feel? Serving an instrument of corporate supremacy. Let me hazard a guess. You're talking about the church. Isn't it true the OSI is just a cog in the machine of oppression? I'm glad you're asking questions, Felix. Curiosity is the foundation of the scientician faith. Don't try and convert me, preacher. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Oh, sure. Because Monarch's just teeming with experts in the finer points of salt tuna health. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Or new, I guess. Yeah, Braxton got eaten. He became dinner. I hear those rich people in the Oh wait, which quest? Oh no, I still have something else. Return to Agnes Needham in Stella Bay. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound! Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama. What I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. That's true. And it's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are going to have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Don't worry about me, Captain. Mama and I'll work this out. No okay. one saw me trip over that, right? Nope, I didn't actually see it. That's true. And I'm not lying at all. 
base crime. Return to Lilia Hagen. Bold to his name. That is here. You should know you're getting excellent reviews from across the company. What can I do for you? You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney. What? for years, I was a joke to them. Why would you give them your left kidney? Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Apparently not. Yeah, in charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. You made it work, Thank dude. You for that. You should be proud of yourself. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Wait, we're dropping a bomb on the board? Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. That's good. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. The board just can't let Monarch go, huh? If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Do you really think so? Yes, I do. I admit, you I are this amazing, for quite dude. Some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. I know how to make I people do. talk. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Watch it with the you people. Oh, I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Yeah. Right. Um, by the way, I like this weapon, but then again, I don't like the name at all. Elite MSI helmet. Uh, Felix, what helmet do you wear? Well, your helmet is definitely better. Vicar? Well, your helmet is just as good, so I'll just keep it for... Someone else. <laughs> I 
What kind of armor has a vicar? 31. I suppose it could be worse. A summary report on conditions within Stellar Bay. Productivity has continued to improve since relaxing MSI's hold, uh, old restrictions and making allowances for employees' benefits, such as time off for illness and personal leave, 24.9% reductions in shift length, and 52.3% more positive feedback. Fishery output is up 15.2% this year, showing a continuing but slowing growth trend. Decreasing gains compared to previous years are likely due to the deterioration of materials and morale, occasional shortfalls in our supplies, and the gradual loss of personnel to marauders, 7.2%, hostile wildlife, 10.3%, and iconoclast recruitment, 17.4%. Reconciliation with the board remains a long-term goal, but the immediate concern is defending the city from hostile elements. Repairing damage to the city walls consumes approximately 32.8 of our annual budget. <clears throat> the best solution would be an influx of skilled defenders and weaponry. But given the aforementioned factors and their effects on the local population, such a solution remains unlikely. Working slogans. MSI. Our profit margins are stellar. MSI Saltuna. 43.28% more nutrient dense than the load leading brands. That is actually pretty good. Uh, Stella Bay, a tolerable center of commerce in a hostile and chaotic galaxy. I like his slogans, kinda. Your report looks excellent. The numbers are front and center and you highlight our recent product gains nicely. One small adjustment. Could you increase the page margins by 17.3%? I want them to match the formatting of our other reports for maximum readability. No, really, I like it. He's he's running a good business here. And I like him. That's even more important, well, I'm I guess. Saying, son, is you'll generate more force with the proper grip. It's more like this, not like that. No offense, Max, but I think I know my way around a crossball stick. I got my own set of highly specialized skull cracking techniques. All right. I don't even want to ask. That's fast travel to Fallbrook. I have so much uh, healing stuff. Just look at the top in my. Uh, yeah. Catherine Malin could sour milk just by glaring at it. Efficient, clever, ruthless. I like her. So tell me, do we drink to the damage you've done, or will I want to smash this bottle over your head? Sure. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the northern bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsome. We are friends, but them who push me end up dead. Look, I don't know if this is related, but it ain't escaped my notice that one of my regulars been lingering a little too long at the gambling bar. She's been acting twitchy, even for her. Ask at the bar about a customer who shows up bi-weekly. My staff may know more. Hey. <laughs> She's useful. And I'm pretty sure that me never to get on Ms. Malin's bad side. Pretty sure that she is um And 
half as tender. That she is uh, loyal. Like if you um, befriend her, and as she just said, we are friends. You don't look like a Then she's loyal to you. Catherine send you back here. <laughs> On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? <laughs> Let me think back. Yeah, I got a regular who's been twitchier than normal lately. Every time she bets, she loses big. Then she pounds a mountain of daiquiris upstairs. You ought to ask Yvonne. She'd know Ms. Twitchy better than me. No, I don't have any... If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the ante up, where you place your bets. If you ain't here to bet, I'll kindly ask you to vacate my, uh, bar. Toss ball, auto loader races, card games, you name it. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose, then shirk on paying. Noted. Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. So, what's your story? Well, that does ring a bell. I remember one lady. She never penned a name in the book. Her friend Huxley placed the collateral for her. Huxley's with the iconoclasts. Know of her? She's not quite all there. Good thing I didn't kill her. I think nothing of it. Though if you wanted to pay me back, you could purchase a drink. Anywho, she's probably in Amber Heights with the rest of Graham's iconoclast folks. Well, what do we have there? Hey, you! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Don't try nothing funny. I really was... Oh, come on! That bad just for picking up an item off the frickin' floor? I literally just picked up an item. I just picked up an item. And like immediately I lose uh, reputation and all that. I'm like philosophists. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. Oh, she's such a gem. She gambles with me whenever I've got time to stop through Fallbrook. Ooh, I bet she's hiding. Does that when she owes people money. Ought to leave her be, though, if she doesn't want to be found. I mean, I guess. But we still gotta pay for drinks, so I can't just... Ah, you're right. I've been awful. Okay, I'll tell you, so long as you don't rat me out. She's got a secret hideaway out in the middle of nowhere. I'll mark it on your map. It's pretty busy for an abandoned facility. Here, I want a key to the back gate off her, but I ain't going near that place.
Well, I ain't gonna use it. And ain't nobody gonna buy it if they don't know the place exists, so... <gasps> Besides, you help me, I help you. That's what friends do. And just thinks that I was about to She's shoot her. real deep for that game. I think it was about the last thing on her. <sighs> Exciting, isn't it? It's steeped in mystery. Um, hmm. Oh! Once she did tell me about this one time when she set off an alarm outside the back so everyone would clear out. I don't remember why she did that. She was kind of drunk though, so maybe she made that all up. You got me. If it's anything like the rest of Monarch, I'd take weapons with you just in case. <laughs> okay. All right. Guys, I got to pause this recording for a moment because Call of Nature. Ah, uh, and I'm back. So, where did we have to go? Du, 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 du. Region. Fallbrook Crossroads. <laughs> no marauders there. I kind of like my new sniper rifle, I really do. Must have been one ugly fight. Keep your guard up. Whoever got to them may still be nearby. This must have been one nasty fight. Just look, it's a slaughter. Trail of blood leads away from the auto loader. Auto loader. Smuggler tunnel. Ouch. Is there anything down that tunnel? Yes, there is.
bit of ammo. Well, what's kind of worth it. Damn mines. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Hiding from the marauders they hit us, obviously. Now your turn. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I knocked through my last sprat worst an hour ago. A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client, too. Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. I'm not going to sleep. Yeah, good thing I'm not playing on supernova difficulty, huh? little sprats. So, I can now... I, I think I'll take the back entrance, so... Please, you don't have to do 
do this. Just let us down from here. Look, I swear I can put down. I swear. As bystanders, does this make us complicit? Here they come! I don't think we are complicit, really, Vicar. In whatever happens there, because I was looking where it was uh, happening and I wanted to stop it, but... Yeah, wait, what was that? Dead Eye Assault Rifle. Just that good. Okay, it doesn't do that much damage, but it's good for ranged kills, I guess. For something like that, this weapon is good. Loads of ammo. I have the feeling the game is either preparing me for something or someone just dumped loads of ammo here. Fuck you, Valdez. I want my race. <laughs> mm. 
messages. Miss Valdez, just reporting in to let you know the lab's all set up. We found a good sulfur pocket to drill into, so the data's coming in. But this place smells awful. The only local we had to make contact with is the sublight boss in Fallbrook. She doesn't ask questions, but I'm sure she's gouging, gauging us. And we're all getting sick of expired sissy bits. Sanders, it's supposed to smell awful, that's the point. And I don't care what sublight is charging as long as it keeps your presence there quiet. If word gets out, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in corporate re-education seminars. I don't want to hear from you again until you have a working formula. Once we've got that, you and the rest of the lab, ra lab rats can come to Byzantium and live on cacao ribs for all I care. And come up with a better name for the project. Something flashy and catchy, but, the, but that the rest of management will take seriously. seriously. Maybe Waterloo or Dangerburn. I'm sick of my boss asking me why I'm forgetting to fill out parts of my reports. No, I'm not scared. All right, here for. we go. No, get away. Uh, that's the last of him. Yeah. Because your boss is an awesome sniper. Well, at least I try to be. Really, I'm not that good, but still. I can dream, right? Wow, its head flew all the way over there. Right in the dick. Well, 
That wasn't that hard. To be honest. Yeah, those are just Raptodons. Feral Canets. Basically, yeah. I really would like to ask him a question and that would be, what do you think your great plan says about us? Definitely graves. I heard something. Sounded like a canid or a, or a reptoid. That was it. Seriously guys, you should really um, work on what kind of people you recruit into your Marauder Bands because that was laughable. <sighs> Yes, please. Thing is my weapon does still swing. No one ever was dun 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 Sorry I'm such a nerd Sanjar 
That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Um, to find her friend. I wanted to find this girl that gave her the card. As if I just wanted to return to Sanjar, I could have simply, you know, fast traveled. Can't get in this building. But also, I have this key card. Where is it? Chastity's Hideaway. Ah, that unlocks the back gate. Okay. Pretty sure she's not uh, in the toilet or any of these corpses. Because they are all labeled scientists, but this gale had a name. I think I see a corpse up there. Is there a way for me to get to, to the roof? Because the ladder definitely is not an option.
Hmm. Well, I could use a breather. Well, even on the wiki I can't find a explanation where her friend is supposed to be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait. Someone coming out somewhere? Like from a hiding spot or something? hoped I would be able to find chastity. Okay. Apparently it is also part of the Radio Free Monarch quest line, but okay. I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't find her. So, what was so mega about that cannon? Killed him pretty easily, actually. Hmm. 
The loot was barely worth it. And wait. No, no one messes with me. Because if they do, they will not survive it. Nine times out of ten at least. Nice hit! Well done. Yeah, this AI is alive. stupid. Very stupid. Yeah, you know what? Let's just fast travel to Stella Bay. Okay, and I'm ending the video here. You know what your problem is, Vic? Because being called Vic. You scientists got no imagination. I will That's show you what happens when I hand in I've this quest you now. Being quiet. It was a nice daydream. In our next video. Everything always goes according to plan, right? Don't forget to Maybe like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps also, the channel, to exercise patience especially to be found in the, the algorithm. And I but hope we I see each other in the next one. Also, don't forget, if you want to support the show, there is a donation link down in the description.